لا يتدبرون القرآن ولو كان من عند غير الله لوجدوا فيه اختلافا كثيرا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل على محمد ربي اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل العقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي All praise you to Allah alone, we praise him, thank him, take his guidance and his forgiveness, dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, welcome to Let Us Reflect. In this show we try to reflect upon the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through pondering on certain verses of the Quran, trying to find the fruits and the benefits that are within them. Allah ta'ala the Almighty commanded us to reflect upon his book and he told us that the main reason behind revealing his revelation, his book, the Qur'an, is for us to reflect upon it, for us to ponder on it. Allah Ta'ala the Qur'an said, كِتَابٌ أَنزَلْنَاهُ إِلَيْكَ مُبَارَكٌ لِيَدَّبَّرُوا آيَاتِهِ This book which we have revealed to you of Muhammad is full of blessings, full of direction, full of guidance. And the reason why it was revealed? لِيَدَّبَّرُوا آيَاتِهِ وَلِيَتَذَكَّرَ أُولُو الْأَلْبَابِ So they may ponder on his verses and men of understanding may reflect, may Allah Ta'ala make us from them today. We have a unique verse. We have a verse that explains to us and outlines to us the condition of accepting our good deeds. A verse that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, advised the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to adhere to it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, in Surah Al-Zumar, in more than four occasions, at the beginning of the surah, Allah ta'ala is speaking about the same matter, the same point, and the same trait. And he's asking the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to adhere to it, and to ensure that whenever he worships Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that this trait is always there. That this quality is always there. Allah ta'ala in the Quran said, تَنْزِيلُ الْكِتَابِ مِنَ اللَّهِ الْعَزِيزِ الْحَكِيمِ This revelation is from Allah, the Almighty, the All-Wise. إِنَّا أَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ الْكِتَابَ بِالْحَقِّ Indeed, we have revealed to you the book with truth. فَاعْبُدِ اللَّهَ مُخْلِصًا لَهُ الدِّينِ Worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with sincerity. Then Allah ta'ala the Almighty said, أَلَا لِلَّهِ الدِّينُ الْخَالِصِ To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala belongs the sincerity. People when they worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will have to worship Him with full devotion, with full sincerity. لِلَّهِ الدِّينُ الْخَالِصِ Then Allah ta'ala said, to the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa to proclaim and say to people that he, being he has been commanded to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with full sincerity. قُلْ إِنِّي أُمِرْتُ أَنْ أَعْبُدَ اللَّهَ مُخْلِصًا لَهُ الدِّينِ Indeed, I was commanded to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with full devotion, with full sincerity. Then again, the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa or Allah ta'ala in this verse is saying to us, emphasizing on the same matter for the fourth time, قُلِ اللَّهَ أَعْبُدُ مُخْلِصًا لَهُ دِينِي Say again, O Muhammad, that you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with full sincerity. مُخْلِصًا لَهُ دِينِي My religion, my deen is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything in terms of worship, is for Allah, the Almighty, subhanahu wa ta'ala, exclusively. The Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa or before that, Allah ta'ala, the Almighty, said, قُلْ إِنَّ صَلَاتِي وَنُسُكِي وَمَحْيَايَ وَمَمَاتِي Say to them that your prayer, and your sacrifice, and your entire life, and your death, is for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَمَاتِي لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ It is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Lord of all the worlds. لَا شَرِيكَ لَهُ وَبِذَلِكَ أُمِرْتِ There is no partner with him, and I've been commanded to be sincere in my worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَبِذَلِكَ أُمِرْتُ وَأَنَا أَوَّلُ الْمُسْلِمِينَ And I'm the first of the 
Muslims, those who submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, surrender to Allah ta'ala, the Almighty. May Allah ta'ala enable us to be amongst them and be sincere to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all of our acts, in all of our acts of worship. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this verse is saying to the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Proclaim and say that I worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with full sincerity. You might ask and say, is sincerity a condition for accepting our deeds? It is one of the main conditions of accepting our deeds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran mentioned two main conditions. If you want Allah ta'ala to accept your good deeds, you will have to ensure that you offer those two conditions. The first condition is to ensure that your action is in line with the Quran and Sunnah. Your action is righteous, as Allah ta'ala in the Quran said. فَمَنْ كَانَ, يَ... فمن كان يَرْجُوا لِقَاءَ رَبِّهِ Whoever is certain, believes that he will meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَلْيَعْمَلْ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا Let him do a righteous deed. The ulama said, a righteous deed mean, means that an action or a deed that is in line with the book and the sunnah, in line with the revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. An action that has been already legislated by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. An action that has been revealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty. So this action is a righteous action. So Allah ta'ala, the Almighty said, فَمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُوا لِقَاءَ رَبِّهِ فَلْيَعْمَلْ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا وَلَا يُشْرِكْ بِعِبَادَةِ رَبِّهِ أَحَدًا The second condition is to be sincere in your worship. Not to associate any partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in worship. To devote your act of worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be sincere to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty alone and not to anticipate or wait for any praise thanks or appreciation from people subhanallah so the intention or the sincerity is more important than the action itself yes it is it is and here subhanallah we have a very interesting point the Allah ta'ala in the Quran when he spoke about the intention about sincerity he said to us that your sincerity, your intention is more important to me than your own action. Subhanallah. Despite that Allah Ta'ala will look at our intention and he will look also at our action. But Allah Ta'ala said to us, your intention is more important. Your intention is more important. When Allah Ta'ala spoke about the Qurbani, when you give your Qurbani for the sake of Allah Ta'ala, he said to us, Allah will, the, the blood or the flesh of those qurbani will not reach Allah, will not benefit Allah. But Allah Ta'ala wants from you to have that sincerity to Him, to have that fear from Him, to have that uh, love to Him subhanahu wa ta'ala, to have the action of the heart. But your piety, your... Uh, your uh, heedfulness of him subhanahu wa ta'ala and that will reach Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala your sincerity will reach Allah ta'ala the almighty so your intention is more important than the action however Allah ta'ala will look at both will look at your intention and he will look how you perfect your action subhanallah the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa said that indeed Allah does not look at your faces or your outer appearance but he looks at your hearts and he sallallahu alayhi point with his blessed finger to his chest and then he also said وَأَعْمَالِكُمْ and your actions your, your hearts and your actions subhanallah let's move on to another interesting point as well another point that is of interest that you might ask and say what is the definition of ikhlas or sincerity in the Arabic language sincerity means ikhlas the ulama have defined sincerity with many definitions, but I will mention to you three of them that are very interesting and very uh, helpful to understand fully the meaning of ikhlas, the meaning of sincerity. The first definition of one of the ulama, he said that sincerity is to devote your act of worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not to seek any praise, thanks, appreciation from people. You want Allah ta'ala alone. By your action, you want the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You want Allah Ta'ala to, to be pleased with you alone. That's your intention. If you have that, then you are sincere. But if you are doing action and you want at the same time Allah Ta'ala to be pleased with you, 
Allah Ta'ala to be pleased with you and you want also people to be as well happy with your action. You want people to appreciate your action. You want them to praise your action or admire you. If you have that, you are not sincere. Because sincerity means to devote the action to Allah alone subhanahu wa ta'ala. To be sincere to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Then we have another definition of sincerity which is more accurate and more sensitive. One of the ulama said that sincerity is to avoid attracting the attention of people. Ya Allah, whenever you do an act of worship, make sure that you don't attract people's attention. You do it in a secret. You do it in a way that you don't want people to even know about it. You do it because you want Allah Ta'ala. Allah Ta'ala, the Almighty, is aware of it. That's enough for you, sufficient for you. And that's why whenever you see yourself, you are energetic in worship of Allah Ta'ala in front of people. But when you go alone, you are lazy, you'll have to ask and question your sincerity. Subhanallah. The sincere person, you will find him when he does the act of worship in secret, he does them in a very, in a very good way, in a very high standard. In the same standard or better when he does them in public, subhanallah. But if you do, if, if you pray well before people, and when you are alone, you pray very fast, you have an issue with sincerity. Another definition of sincerity, which is subhanAllah Ta'ala, is very powerful and comprehensive definition. Ibn al-Junaid, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, one of the ulama said, sincerity, the simplest definition for it is, it is a secret between you and Allah alone. A secret between Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and the slave. So no angel knows it to ascribe it. Allah Ta'ala, the only one knows if you are sincere or not. No angel knows it to ascribe or write it. And no devil knows it to spoil it. SubhanAllah. It is between you and Allah the Almighty. And you will know. He will know if you are sincere or not. If you wait for people's praise, people's thanks, people's appreciation, you are not sincere. If your pr prayers has, uh, has a... Uh, two standard, one before people, one when you are alone, you are not sincere. But whenever you do an act of worship, you want Allah Ta'ala to accept it, you think about the reward of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala, you are always communicating with Allah Ta'ala, it's a sign of sincerity. And sincerity, by the way, is not like a, like a deed that you, 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 you do it once and that's you become sincere. No, it's a process, a process. You have to fight yourself. Every time you try to purify your intention, you want Allah's face only all the time. It's a process. At the end, you will reach to the, this level or this trait of sincerity by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty. Let me mention to you or mention to you an important or a very relevant story. At the time of the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, a man came to him and said to him, Messenger of Allah, what would you say about someone who is Participate, participate in the battle, he is exposing himself to death, and he is uh, defending the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but he wants, he wants the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and at the same time he wants as well the people to remember him, people to appreciate him, people to thank him, to, uh, to praise him. The Nabi said he will have nothing. The man asked again, رأيت رجلا غزا يريد الأجر والذكر ما له someone who's who's fighting for for Allah's sake he wants the ذكر people to remember him and he wants the أجر he wants Allah's reward what he will have the answer was he will have nothing the man asked for third time the answer was he will have nothing and then Nabi صلى الله عليه وسلم said indeed Allah accepts only from the actions that are sincere to Him and we are then seeking His own pleasure سبحانه وتعالى يا الله and that's why the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to us that what I fear about you, what I fear about you, what is the most that I fear about you is the shirk al-asr, the smallest shirk. And that is, when he was asked, he said, it's a riyah, showing off. I ask Allah Ta'ala to enable us to remain away from this act and to be sincere in our worships, in our actions, in everything that Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala will be pleased with, Azza wa Jal. Let me inshallah ta'ala finish off with uh, highlighting what we can take away from this verse. 
let's remember always that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the only one he's the only one that his praise would benefit us people may praise you in this life may appreciate you in this life may admire you in this life but the praise is based on their own assumption but Allah ta'ala the almighty knows better so always focus on Allah's praise be sincere to Allah Ta'ala and Allah's praise and Allah's thanks and Allah's appreciation to you when Allah Ta'ala says He is my servant, He is sincere to me is enough and sufficient to you. You should think about that to be sincere to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Till I see you again, city all of you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <laughs> لوجدوا فيه اختلافا كثيرا وإذا جاءهم أمر من الأمن أو الخوف أذاعوا به ولو ردوه إلى الرسول وإلى أولي الأمر منهم لعلمه الذين يستنبطونه منهم ولولا فضل الله عليكم ورحمته لاتبعتم الشيطان إلا